Okay, so this is our scenario. We've got a list of products and what we've got to do is give a 12% discount to Jamie Oliver branded pans. Now, if we look through our list, uh, you can see there's the brand at the beginning of the product description and then we've got a pan there. So we've got Jamie Oliver pan there. And if I go through the list a bit more, I've got jelly roll pan and Jamie Oliver frying pan. So what if essentially I've got is I've got two partial matches that I need to test for. Does it contain J Oliver and does it contain Pan? If it does, work out a 12% discount. So one way of doing this is to use the search function, or to begin with anyway. So search function finds the position of a text value within another text, uh, a text string within another text string. So. I could say uh, search for J Oliver. That's my find text within this text string. So initially, I'm just going to do it with one text string to just to demonstrate what search does. By the way, start number is not needed uh, here because it's only needed when you want to start searching, say, in the middle of a text string. If I put five as my start number, it would start searching five characters in. You don't want that. So if I copy this down, so there's my first instance where it's found J Oliver said it was in position one, right at the beginning of the text string. Now, um, if I, well, again, I know I've just got one criteria at the moment, but if I converted this to true and false with the is number function, is number will evaluate whether search is returning true, uh, a number or not that would give me my trues and falses. So that's the idea. And then I can use that with an if to give my discount or not. But I have two criteria. Now search normally only allows one criteria. If I look at that into the search function, you can see find text only normally supports one criteria, but you can kind of cheat a little bit with a lot of functions by including an array of values. Now, to introduce an array of values, you've got to use brace brackets. So I'll start with a brace bracket there, comma, and then I can say my second thing I want to search for is pan, and close that all within brace brackets. So I'm searching for the two things, J Oliver and pan. Now, a good way of seeing what's going on here is if I select this and I'm going to press F9 on my keyboard. Now F9 kind of temporarily evaluates what's going on in the formula. So you can see I've got false false because it doesn't, the product basic smoker doesn't contain Jamie, J Oliver or Pan. I'll undo that otherwise it'll hard code it in. But if I was to copy this down, when it gets to this one, F9, true, true. So it's met both conditions. It's got J Oliver and it's got Pan. Okay, so hopefully you can see exactly what's going on there. His number is now checking for both criteria, both the search items. Now, I only, if I had a Pan, I don't know if I can find a Pan somewhere in here. Um, that isn't J Oliver. There we are, that one there. So if I go into that one, that's got false true, okay? So it doesn't contain Jamie Oliver, but it does contain Pan. Now, essentially what I want to do is, I only want to return true if it meets both criteria. At the moment, it's showing false or true depending on the first result, this result here. Um, oh, I don't want to hard code that in, I've just undone it. Um, I want to only return true if I get two trues, uh, not if there's one true. Now, one way of doing that, and a very good way of doing that, is to use the AND function. AND allows you to specify a number of logical tests and if all of the tests are met it will return true so we've got essentially two logical tests here haven't we does it contain j oliver does it contain pan so 
I'm going to close the bracket there and copy this down. Okay, you can see it changed some of them. That one was J Oliver, so it was a true, uh, but it's changed to false now because it doesn't contain both J Oliver and Pan. Okay, so now I can use an if. This is my logical test, comma. And I want to do apply a 12% discount. So that's essentially 88% uh, of the price. So it would be the price times one minus the discount. And I'll need to fix that, won't I? Because I'll be copying down. And then nothing in the cell, value of false, nothing in the cell, empty text string, if no discount is required. So if I copy that down now, apply a bit of formatting and hopefully you can see that where needed it has applied the discount there we are j oliver pan j oliver oliver frying pan i don't know if there are any more yet there we are j oliver spring form pans um, and i don't think there are any others so there we are um, a slightly more complicated formula maybe uh, but hopefully you can see how that works search function to find whether either of these text strings appear or find in the position of either of those text strings within the product text string. Checking to see whether it returns a number, checking to see whether the search function returns a number, um, and then checking to see whether both criteria return a number uh, with the AND function. Therefore, we have our logical test, true and false. Perform your formula if need be, otherwise return uh, an empty cell. Okay, so performing a partial match with an if function where you have more than one criteria. Uh, hopefully that's been useful and thank you very much for watching.